Hi, everyone, and here's our devotional for Friday, blah, January 17th, 2020, entitled, The Life-Giving Blessing of Believing in Me. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water, John 738 and KJV. When you first believed in me in your heart, you were given the Holy Spirit, who was promised by the Father. He came to dwell in you and produce in you his life-giving fruit, which includes unconditional love, unlimited joy, unexplainable peace, never-ending patience, active kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and a hunger for righteousness. But believing in me means believing me. To believe me, you must hear my words and make daily choices to act on them. If you are apathetic to what I have said or choose to disobey my words, you are choosing not to believe me. This unbelief will prevent, prevent the Holy Spirit from flowing out of you to bless and influence the lives of others. But when you choose to abide in my words and act on them, the Holy Spirit and his fruit will continually flow out of your heart like rivers of life-giving water. Believe me today and let wonderful rivers of living water flow out of you to everyone I bring into your path. You will impact their lives in ways you cannot imagine. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1.8 NLT Wow, isn't that awesome? I'm thank- so very thankful about the Holy Spirit. Very, very thankful. Um, I want to talk about this, you know, believing him and believing in him thing. There is a humongous difference. Okay. Stop button. No, I don't want to stop. Stop, but- stop button. Okay, good. You didn't stop. Okay. Bad things happen when you bump phones that are recording. Okay, good. Anyway. <clears throat> Okay, all my life, I believed in Jesus. All my life, I was, I learned about him and everything. And I was taught, you know, my mom and the church that we were raised in gave me an amazing foundation in the word of God. So I had all of that, you know, in me. And I, and mom taught me to, to discern right from wrong and everything. And I, you know, she taught me the word of God and everything. And the, and the church that I was raised in, I'm ever grateful for them because they taught me too. However... I did not truly accept Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior until November 3rd, 94. And I realized what a huge gulf there is between those two words, those two phrases, believing me and believing in me. It's like, wow, you know, yeah, huge difference. Because now that I've accepted him as my Lord and Savior, I am seeing that I only knew about him. I didn't know him. And even still, I'm, I'm still learning more and more and more every day about Jesus. Praise God. So I pray that you know the difference today. I pray with all my heart. This is why I do this, okay? Th- this is why I do this every week. This is why I do anything that I do for, for the Lord. Because I just want to say that Jesus loves you. And if you are not at that place where you're able to know him, where you're able to put your belief into practice, accept him today. Right where you are. It doesn't matter. You can talk to him about everything. I was on my bedroom floor um, listening to a TV program. And I just, you know, the the, the format is nice. But I li- literally listed <laughs> all the, the sins that I could think of that I had committed and, and confessed them all to him. I said, Lord, I don't want to do these things anymore. Um, I want you to forgive me and save me and come into my heart and life. You can do that today in your own words. Just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you will not regret it. That is the number one best decision I've ever made in my life. So, I need to quit rambling already. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.